Hey YouTube, uh, today I'm going to show you how to overclock your HP touchpad up to 1.9 GHz. And I'll also quickly describe uh, how to install Preware on your touchpad. If you want the detailed instructions on, on how to install uh, Preware, um, I have a link in the description uh, which you can, I already have another video so you can go ahead and check it out. To install Preware, first thing you do is uh, you connect your tablet. Uh, with the USB. The other end of USB is going to go in, um, in the computer. So when you connect your USB, it's going to show up front here. Uh, it says uh, make a USB drive. So what you do is just click on close. And in your computer, uh, you click on uh, uh, this WebOS quick install. Now the link, to, uh, link for this file, I have it in, uh, uh, also in the description. So you double click on it and it's going to ask you to install the driver and then um, you click on this little button here and you can search for Preware there and you can Once install, you install Preware, tap on a Preware icon and it's going to load. Now, um, when, once you open the window first time, what do you what do you want to do for sure is uh, uh, you want to check the package updates and you want to update your preware uh, to latest version. Also, update your OS. Um, I also have a video for that. I'll post the link in the description. Now, uh, before we proceed. Uh, what I would I would like to say is uh, this is like a testing feeds means uh, it may harm your you know I mean you may lose your data or it may not work well so what you want to do uh, uh, to save your data is uh, of course the downloaded apps can be downloaded again you can uh, uh, use a backup you can back up your data like a contacts and stuff if you don't have any of those and you're just concerned about the apps you have in there uh, I suggest you just make uh, like a snapshot um, of your screen to, so you can remember what apps you had uh, in your uh, tablet. So to do that, um, what you do is you press uh, power button and home button all together and this will take a, a snap of your screen. It will be saved in your, uh, uh, in your album. So I'm going to press a uh, home button and a power button all together and there is a sign of your snap you go on the album as you see here there is a folder called screen captures you tap on it and that's your image as you see here you can uh, you can retake them or you can delete them so yeah i mean uh, do that so that way if ever you you lose your app you can uh, uh, you can see what apps you had and you can re-download them if you paid for any app, you can re-download it for free. Now if you have Uber kernel installed uh, in your tablet, you have to remove it first. So in order to do that, go to Preware and uh, hit on installed packages and go to kernel and Uber kernel, tap on it and go in the bottom and tap on remove. Now, uh, in order to install uh, this uh, 1.9 gigahertz uh, up to a 1.9 gigahertz speed kernel, you have to remove your Uber kernel um, to in order to install it. So, once it's removed, uh, you have to restart your tablet. So, it's going to ask you to restart. You tap OK and restart it. Now, we'll go back to Preware. Now, once you open a Preware, uh, you click on uh, top left corner here and then you tap on manage feeds and you scroll down all the way in the bottom and you will see um, a tab here called new feed and then there is a URL now what I would suggest is while you're doing uh, while you're doing this on your tablet you should open uh, uh, my video in uh, uh, on another another web page 
on your tablet so that way I'm gonna I'm gonna put all the uh, all the feeds in uh, my description so you can simply just copy them and then paste them here that will make you uh, make it much easier so first feed we're gonna add is web OS dash testing dash all and I have copied the URL so I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it Now uh, I'm doing this as I'm doing this for the first time as I'm uh, recording the video. So if I forget to mention anything, I'll put it as a quote, and I apologize for um, if I make any mistake. So uh, and it will also give you idea, you know, what happens the first time when you add any feed. So once we do that, web testing dash all, and then we do add feed. It will give you a little disclaimer here. You click on OK. Feed is going to be WebOS testing ARM v7. Now this is this is specifically for the uh, touchpad tablet. It, it, you cannot use this on a phone. I mean, this feed, the ARM v7 feed, will work on on, on your phone, but uh, this procedure will not work on uh, on your phones. So this is just for a tablet. And then once you're done with it, you click on Add Feed. And you have to also make sure it says in, uh, in the option it says is compressed, and you have to make sure it's yes. You add your feeds. Uh, you go back and tap on feeds, and then it will ask you that you have recently ch uh, changed the feeds, uh, and it's going to ask you to update it. So you say do it now, and it's going to do a little update. Well, once you add your feed, uh, you will need to restart your tablet. Um, I have a patch installed here, so when I hold the power button, it gives me option to restart. Uh, but what you can do is you can shut down and uh, uh, start it again. Or if you want to restart it, um, what you can do is uh, you can go to settings. And then uh, click on a device info. And once you tap on there, you see that uh, reset options. And once you go in reset options, there is your restart. Once you restart your tablet, go back to Preware. And uh, now we're going to install Govna. Now I already have installed Govna, but here to install it, you tap on this little search. And then you type uh, G O V N A H, and you will find your feed. Now I already have it installed. So if you don't have it installed, go ahead and install it, and then restart your device. Once you restart it after uh, installing Govna, now you're gonna go ahead and. Uh, uh, tap on manage feeds now again you will scroll down in the bottom we're gonna add uh, add one more feed so this is our third feed now make sure that uh, once you uh, hit add feed button it will give you like a disclaimer you click OK and after hitting OK you really restart right away you do not wait for anything otherwise it will give you error. Now let me show you what kind of error it gives you if you do not restart right away. Um, I'm gonna update the feed just to show you that it gives you error. And there it is. So 
make sure when you hit uh, when you read the disclaimer you hit add feed and read the disclaimer and uh, you hit ok and you restart right away you do not do anything else we have restarted already and I launch a preware um, once you launch a preware you go ahead and uh, it's going to automatic update the feeds but just to make sure we go ahead and tap on update feeds we let it update Now you, once it's updated, you tap on list of everything and find for F15C Eagle. So, F15C, this one, F15C Eagle. Once you find it, you tap on it and you hit install. And as soon as it's uh, done uh, installing it, it's gonna um, it's gonna ask you to restart, and you restart oh, right away. I already restarted uh, my tablet, so I'm gonna go ahead and launch uh, Gobna. Now, once you launch Gobna, you go and tap on profile, and you tap on advanced settings. Now uh, make sure you have a latest version of Go now. If you have older version, it's not going to work. So there is an update already. So you go ahead and uh, uh, go to Preware and update it. Now here on CPU frequency, uh, you tap and you change your uh, maximum frequency to 1.9 gigahertz. And then you apply settings. Now it's gonna give you this error in case. If it gives you this error, just hit OK. Uh, I don't think so. It it, uh, it changes anything. But if it you know if it's uh, if you know how to fix it, post a comment and I'll update uh, it on the video. So as you see here, minimum speed is 1. Point, uh, 192 megahertz and maximum is 1.944. You can also choose uh, other frequencies uh, if you want to overclock uh, by 1.5 or 1.7 or 1.8. You can do it from here. So now we're gonna hit back, uh, go to CPU frequency, and now it's time to testing. So let's see. I'm gonna show you like a spike, uh, as you see here. Uh, it was a 1.1 gigahertz and you know when I selected it, it it runs on a 1.9 the spike goes on a uh, 1.9 gigahertz so let's uh, launch and test it there it is one two third so yeah as you see um, it, it runs really fast but yeah it will it will uh, heat up uh, your uh, tablet a little bit um, and uh, of course the battery life but I don't have any you know uh, I just installed it so I don't have uh, much time to study uh, what's uh, you know what's the decrease in the battery life or you know how much it overheats but it it does overheat a little bit that's for sure I, I noticed that in you know in the last five minutes so yeah and uh, if there is any suggestion um, go ahead and comment on the video uh, I will put or post all the useful links in the description. Um, and thanks for watching.